Welcome to our lecture, Check Processing Times. Let's imagine that you have finished your application, you send your application, everything went well. Now it comes the question, when am I going to get the notification from CIC? When will I know that my process is done? I'm going to get my work permit. Well, for that we're going to go to this web page of the Government of Canada. And we're going to use this tool available online so we can calculate the processing time for your application. So the first question with the tool is what are you applying for? Basically I'm going to go and make the choice because we're talking about working we're going to choose a temporary residence and this is the same choice if you're visiting, studying or working. Okay. So I make the choice which temporary resident application I'm going to choose uh, looking for a work permit and you have several choices for work permit you have work permit, work permit extension with a new employer and work permit extension with the same employer and then you have the information international experience in Canada so you have several choices there we're going to go with the regular one work permit okay And then the third question will be, where are you applying from? I'm going to make the selection. Let's imagine that I'm living in the tropical. I'm going to go to the Dominican Republic. OK. So I have provided three answers. I provided that I'm applying for a temporary resident visa, or permit in this case. I provided that it's a work permit that I need. and uh, provided the information of my location. I'm living in the Dominican Republic. So let's get the processing time. You're going to calculate and then the tool what it does is give me the information. A work permit application in the Dominican Republic takes around six weeks and then it give me the information of the biometrics and of course there's a back office in the Dominican Republic if I go for more detail, I will be able to find the information where to, where to go there. But this is the information you, the tool provides for you. And then this is the last updated. That was basically yesterday. So they, they keep it very up to date on a weekly basis while the processing time is. If I change my mind and say, no, no, no. I actually not in the Dominican Republic. Let's see if I choose a popular destination like India. Let's compare. In India, the present time is 10 weeks. The Dominican Republic is 6 weeks. The present time for India is 10 weeks. If I play again and say, okay, and what about the Philippines? Again, I'm choosing random countries just to have an idea. In the Philippines is eight weeks, so India is, is the longest so far. The three choices that I that I have. So that is the how important is this tool and how it can help you to have a better idea at the moment of checking your processing times. One thing is very important and. With temporary resident applications are less, less frequent, but you need to have in mind from the time that your application is received by the office and the time that they're going to issue, if it's going to be a week, or in the case of the Philippines, you shouldn't be making any inquiry about your case if the regular processing time haven't passed yet. For example, you shouldn't be trying to contact the office at week six in the Philippines, if you know that the regular processing time for the work permit in the Philippines is eight weeks. So you should only inquire about your application or the, about the processing time if it's taking longer than the posting time there. Okay? And and we assuming that you never got that you you never got any letter asking for more documents from their of from the office 
or you didn't get any refusal because it was incomplete. We're just thinking about the best scenario. When everything is complete, you send the application. You're just waiting for the outcome. If the eight weeks in the case of the Philippines, application from the Philippines, haven't passed, you shouldn't ask for any inquiry about the time. You need to wait after the eight weeks pass, and then you can do an inquiry. You can do the form that we include in, the, uh, in our training about how to ask for those questions, because when it takes you longer than it's supposed to, then yes, you can go ahead and get the information and make the inquiry. But from best practice, please, just refrain from doing it before your regular time in your country of residence when you apply. All right. So I hope this information is useful for you. Well, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.